Hi friends, it's me, Christiana Gaudette. It is Saturday. That means it is time for the Saturday Psychic Sampler. The one day of the week on this page where I ask you to ask me a specific question. That's the format. Your specific questions, I'll give you a specific answer. So before we get going, I want to remind you, I have a free class on my YouTube channel tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday, on my YouTube channel, Christiana Godet. Make sure you subscribe to that channel and make sure you're there for this class. You know what we're doing? We're doing tarot magic. So come spend a free hour with me and with our YouTube community. And uh, we're going to have some fun. Hello, everyone. I see people coming into the room. Now, if you happen to be watching an archive, I am obviously not going to be able to answer your questions. But thanks for being here anyway. And you might hear something that resonates for you. So for those of you coming into the room, I see Jill, Melissa, Karen, Sayani, Kristen, uh, Christine, Varnica, Cassia, Shelly, uh, TK, uh, Sarah, so nice to see you all. Oh, Sarah, thanks for the uh, the compliment on my hair. It's, you know, it's a COVID thing, obviously. I stopped cutting it. And at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm embracing it. This is like the longest my hair has ever been in my entire life. And I've been on the planet for a while. And so I'm just going to embrace it and see what happens, you know. My mother would not like that. My mother believed that women over 30 should never wear long hair. So um, I, I guess I'm, I'm just a wild one, you know. What are you going to do? But that, that's what I'm doing. So thanks for the love. I appreciate it. Okay. So what we're doing today is specific questions. So that's not uh, what does spirit want me to know? What does the universe want me to know? I want a specific question. I will give you a specific answer. I will get to as many people as I can. I, I have a little bit of time today, so I'm going to try to get to everyone. All right. So and I'm going to do this in the order. Um, <laughs> Cheryl says, be wild. Christine says, so same thing with your mom, huh? Yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Okay, so the first question that I see is, Varnica, how can I help my son? Great question. And the answer is, I wonder if there's some things he needs to learn. I, I don't know if that's about school specifically or just learning in life. But I feel like he needs to learn and you need to help him learn. And I also feel having to do with getting along with other people, with his social life. There are things he needs to learn about that as well, about how to get along with other people. Love him, believe in him, but help him learn. That's really the key. Okay. Sayani, how is my coming week going to be at work? Okay, when we look at the upcoming week for you regarding your job, it's going to require your patience. You're going to feel like you don't have what you need in terms of assistance, in terms of tools, in terms of information. You're not going to have what you need to actually do your job, but you're going to have to do your job anyway. So be creative about how you do that. Don't take it personally that they're expecting more of you than they should. And just move forward and you could end up being a rock star here really. So take the challenge and run with it. That's important. Okay, Misty, I would love to know if we're going to get approved for lending on a new house. How exciting. And the answer is you may have to do some work with that getting approved. You may not get approved straight off. They may need you to clean something up. You may need to make a different application. Uh, so this could be a little bit of a process, but keep going because ultimately, yes, you will get approved and you will be able to do this. Okay, Leisha, my question is, will I be in my section by the time Thanksgiving comes by? Will I be in my section by the time Thanksgiving comes by? So I have no idea what that means. And if you will excuse me, 
I have to take care of a troll. Please hang on just one second here and let me uh, go ahead and get your, your messages in here and let me uh, let me block this person so as not to be bothered by the troll. You know, you know you've arrived in this business when the trolls keep finding you. And uh, okay, there we go. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Let's see if the troll still bothers. I'm going to have to try again, but I think we're blocked. We should not should not see that any longer. Okay, so now, Leisha, uh, will I? Uh, my question is, will I be in my section by the time Thanksgiving goes by? Oh, Uma, it's always a new troll. I block one, and new one comes. There's just so many of them. And Lori, thanks for taking care of that too. <laughs> right, right. Okay, so Alicia, it's your section at work. Will you be there by the time Thanksgiving comes by? I would say, I would say likely yes. I think you, I, I think you will be. I, I think so, and I think you're going to have a nice Thanksgiving. So thanks for your question. Thanks so much for being here, Alicia. Okay, TK. Should I become a tutor or do homework assistance in math and science and English subjects? So are those two things or could, could I mean, that sounds like the same thing, you know, or, or two sides of the same coin. Um, and I would say yes to all of the above. I think it absolutely makes sense. And I think if you did it online, you could do it in a couple of different languages in a few different countries. Uh, I think you could have a whole business there. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a great idea. Okay. Okay, Shelly, you said you were going to ask this question. Here it is. We know that your dog is having a particularly obnoxious behavior. And the question is, is that coming from spirit? Is spirit causing this? And the answer is no, your dog is anxious. This is not related to spirit but maybe related by to your mood because you've been through a lot, Shelly. You have been through so much recently. And the dog senses that, and that may be making the dog anxious. So you need to try to like send the dog psychic messages, honestly, and show through your thoughts and through your behavior that everything is fine. And also, and this is actually a Mitchell Osborne technique. I can't take credit for this. I um, mean, if you don't know who Mitchell Osborne is, definitely check him out. He's going to be one of our presenters at StarCon, and he is amazing. Uh, one of the things he does is he's an animal communicator. And what he says is you have to send your pet pets pictures in your mind, you, from your mind to their mind, not of what you don't want them to do, but of what you do want them to do. So if the dog is uh, making a mess in the house, Send the dog a picture of asking to go outside and doing that outside. And that should help as well. Okay, Cassia, my question is, I have a lady here in my job giving me a hard time. What's her problem with me? All right, I'm sorry that's happening. Uh, I would say don't take this personally. She gives lots of people a hard time. And the way to handle it, I mean, she just has a bad personality. Do not, do not take it personally. And uh, I feel like the best thing to do with this person is ignore her as much as possible. Document what you need to document. And uh, I think you'll be able to take care of it. You know, there's one in every crowd, right? Okay. So Nellie Vega... Okay, so I don't see a question for me there. Um, so go go ahead and, and give me a specific question, and we will take care of you. Okay, Cindy, nice to see you back. Claire, glad to see you. Martha Vink, will my parents stay healthy during this pandemic? I worry about them. I know, I know, it's so hard. And uh, when we look at them, 
you know, I think they're taking a lot of good precautions, maybe not as many as you would like. And I know you'd like to wrap them in bubble wrap. And I know they have health issues not related to the pandemic, and that's a concern too. But I think that they're going to be relatively careful and you will be relatively lucky. My guess is everything's going to be okay for them. Okay. So, so funny. Christine and Karen Winkle, um, both of you have mothers who think that older women should not have long hair. And hey, here we are. What are we going to do? Okay. Okay. Melissa, Melissa Burkhammer, advice from spirit, mother or sister on coping with the family. How to cope with the family, advice from spirit. First of all, don't take it all personally. There's a lot of stuff here. It might be even meant personally, but don't take it personally. You got to do you. That's the important thing. And that comes directly from spirit for you. Look at you, your future, what you want. Don't let the family dictate to you as if they know what's going on because they don't. I'm sorry, that sounded rude. But really, that's the way it comes up. Lisa Bear Sweet, so nice to see you. When will my house sell? So I assume it is on the market now. Uh, when we look at selling your house, which really is a bittersweet thing. I think this is good. It's going to be moving on to a whole new chapter for you. I know it's hard, but I think it is a good thing. And I feel like, you know, usually they say either it sells before the winter or after the winter, but not in the winter up north. But I feel like you're going to sell within three months. I really do. You may get an offer that doesn't work out, but nonetheless, I think you'll sell within three months. Okay. Okay, Cindy. Cindy Beach Batista. Am I making the right decision by changing employers? I'm scheduled for a second interview. So, so there's really a couple of questions there. Do we think you will get that job? that you are scheduled for the second interview with, it is very likely that you'll get an offer. So if you get that offer, and I think you might, if you get that offer, does it make sense to leave the current employer? And the thing is, if it's a better, if it's a better offer, then take it. I'm afraid the offer they're going to give you is not going to be as good as what you've got now. Do not step down. Do not, do not take a lesser offer. When we look at the current employer, there's a lot about the current employer that I think you would like to get away from. Get away from. And you are right to be looking. But nonetheless, do not just jump on a lesser offer. So if the offer you get with this new company is better, by all means, take it. If it's worse, you keep looking. But one way or the other, you are right to leave this employer. Yes. Okay. Oh, Karen Winkle, will I be able to get the feral kitten in my deck to let us near him? Oh, so sad. What about that feral kitty? Yes, be patient, put out food, talk to the kitty, uh, send the kitty psychic pictures like we were talking about. I'm afraid not only is this kitty going to let you get near them, I'm afraid you may have a new cat. So I don't know what you want to do about that. If you'd rather take, it, take the cat to a shelter, try to get the cat adopted, I don't know. But be careful because you might end up with a new cat. Okay, and speaking of cats, Sarah Cat McConaughey. What can I do to improve my romantic relationship with my partner? Okay. Be generous. I feel like there are ways you have felt disappointed or not seen or not appropriately communicated with in this relationship. Rather than focusing on that, be generous, be kind, give this person the benefit of the doubt. This person is going through a difficult time right now. And so try to be really sweet and really nice even though this person maybe has not been sweet and nice with you in this situation. And this is not like license to everyone to put up with bad relationships or put up with abuse. This is specific advice to Sarah 
in this specific moment only. These are things that have to be done case by case. And in this very specific case, at this very specific moment, be sweet, be nice, let some of the other stuff pass, and try to be really supportive. All right. Christine, so nice to see you. What can I do to hear spirit better? I love that question. And the answer is work on it. Work on it every day. Do exercises every day with your tools, with meditation, with breathing. And listen and ask every single day. Ask and you shall receive. That's the bottom line here. And just work on it every single day. Do it as a devotional every single day. Okay. Jill, so great to see you here. I didn't skip you. I'm coming to you right this minute. Uh, my son is in a holding pattern after going through three interviews for one job. It's been over a week and they are waiting for HR. Will he get the job? Let's take a look. They like him. They want to hire him. They absolutely do. Uh, they are waiting for the okay to do it. So my guess is he will get the job as long as he can be patient. Uh, it's possible another job will come up in the meanwhile, though, because HR has taken their time and there's all kinds of questions. Are we hiring? Are we not hiring? What are we doing? What's the directive? But I think they really do want him and I think they're going to try to to do this. You know, I'm afraid in this company, maybe there's been talk of a hiring freeze and can we get him in under the wire? All of these questions. But my guess is it's going to happen. Okay, Sonia, nice to see you. Will my husband be coming home in 2021? Um, I feel like there's some issues here. I don't feel like this is just about like him traveling or him wanting to be there and not being able to. Please correct me if I'm wrong, Sonia, but I have a feeling there are deeper issues here, that there's actually relational issues here. So it's not so much from what I can see um, about, you know, him being in another place away from home and wanting to come home. I think it's more a question about the relationship itself. Am I wrong? And if I am indeed right, I think there would be a lot of conversation and a lot of work that would need to be done before that were even a possibility. Okay. Lori, Lori Hahn, I can't remember if I've asked this before. I want to know if hypnotherapy, past life regression therapy would work for me. Oh, interesting. So there's really two questions there, Lori. I don't think you've asked this before. There's really two questions, or maybe you have, but whatever. Let's talk about it today. Um, one is, would you have an experience? And two is, would it be somehow helpful? You know, because these things can be very intriguing and interesting, but they can also be helpful and therapeutic. So would you have an experience? Yes, you would. Would it be helpful in healing? Yes, it would. By all means. By all means. Yes. Okay. Nelly, Le Nelly Vega. I've been struggling. Uh, I've been stressed, depression. I miss my dad. I'm worried about my health. I understand. I'm so sorry you're going through a tough time. Let's take a look. Um, so, you know, there's a lot going on, Nelly, and, and you are reacting to a lot of what's going on in the world, but you've also got a lot going on in your own heart, in your own head. Um, I feel like the important thing right now is to take care of yourself and do what you need to do for yourself. You're not going to be a help to anybody else unless you're doing well yourself. And you need to do what you need to do to feel better. If that involves therapy, medication, meditation, uh, exercise, diet, whatever you have to do, make your own well-being your priority. Take control of that and everything else will improve, I promise. Okay. Hey, Roswitha. Haven't seen you here before. So nice to see you. So today, Saturday, we are doing specific questions. Go ahead and ask a specific question, and I will be happy to answer it. Claire Carter, should I refinance my house? 
I think you might find that would be favorable. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor, so check with those people too. But I think you should definitely pursue this possibility. Okay. Laura Mahoney, does spirit have something to say to me? So this is the Saturday Psychic Sampler where we do specific questions only. So go ahead and ask a specific question. Princess Samantha, thanks for being here. I have not yet seen your question. If you want to reiterate it, go right ahead. Okay. Okay, Ermeet, I wanted to ask, um, has someone was pretending to be unwell, so I may cancel my program, um, because as I canceled, I, hmm, Ermeet, could you reiterate that? I, um, I, I would appreciate that. Thanks. I'm not quite sure what I'm seeing here. Okay, I see your question, Princess. I will get to it. Absolutely. Okay, Laura Maloney, will I go back to work? I believe so, and I think it's it will be a great thing. I think you'll be a little nervous and worried about it, but I think it will be wonderful. I feel good about it. Okay. Jacqueline, I'm looking to join Rotary. Oh, that's wonderful. My father was a Rotary president. Um, as I'm an avid volunteer, I'm looking to meet new people and possibly a love connection. Is this a good route to find a new relationship? Wow. I don't think I've ever heard of anyone becoming a Rotarian to find a relationship, but it's not a bad idea. It's a great service organization, right? Let's take a look. Um, okay, so first of all, is joining Rotary a good idea for you? It is. You will meet new people. It's good networking. Uh, you will definitely make some friends. You will definitely make some connections. It's a great idea. Will you potentially meet a love connection there? <coughs> Excuse me. Not, not necessarily right off the bat, but the more people you meet, the more people you meet, and the more people you meet, the more possibilities you have. So I would do it to be of service and to be in community and then see what else comes of that. Okay, Uma Elizabeth, kids are heading back to school after Thanksgiving break. Wow, that was a run. What do you need to know? I think, you know, there is some possibility the schools themselves will shut down before too long, so we'll see how long this lasts. But, you know, the great thing is you did a good job with them. I think they're sort of leading here and you're letting them lead. So I think it's all good. You know, you have trained your kids to think for themselves in a lot of ways and to make decisions for themselves appropriately. So I think you're doing great. Okay. Okay, Roswitha, will my finances get better? Great, 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 great. So... Yes, I think there will be some improvement for you, uh, but some of it is going to be in your own discernment, in your own decision making, in terms of how you handle your finances. So you may need to make some different decisions in that regard going forward, but yes, I think, uh, I think there will be improvement. Okay, Ermeet, thank you. I wanted to know why my friend was making an issue out of a small thing even after my clearing the misunderstanding, what do I need to know? Okay, thank you. I understand. Hey, Donna. Nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Okay, Ermeet. So this is not your fault. Your friend is stubborn and your friend grabs on to something um, that is... Uh, Princess, yes, I saw your, uh, your question. It's in line. I will get there in the order that I see it in, which may not be the same order that you have. So if you can be patient, I promise I will get to it. Okay, Ermeet. I understand I'm talking about your friend here, and I don't mean to be rude. I don't mean to be mean. Um, but your friend is very stubborn, and when your friend gets something, you know, it's like your friend is like a dog with a bone, doesn't let go of stuff. And I think you have done everything that you can do to kind of move on. If your friend doesn't want to move on, there's not a lot you can do. 
Now, I think, honestly, your friend does care about your friendship. And I think your friend will eventually recognize that they need to let it go. And then you can move forward. But I don't think there's anything more you can do to address it. You just need to let time pass. And forgive your friend for being this way. Hey, Carol Snuka, I haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, my family members have different feelings about the current situation we find ourselves in these days. I'm really concerned how this will resolve. What can I do to help them see both sides? So when you talk about current situation, that could be anything, right? That could be COVID. That could be the U.S. presidential election. That could be climate change. That could be the economy. That could be trying to... Um, dismantle systemic racism. That could be a lot of different things. And honestly, we don't need to know which of those things we're talking about. Uh, what you want is you recognize that you have family members who don't agree with each other, and you would like them to at least be able to have conversation with each other, to see each other's point of view. And you would like to help them do that Man, in this particular case, I'm not sure how you can do that because they've each grabbed on to that really unhealthy thing that is happening in our culture right now when instead of listening to another opinion, we just double down and we say, oh no, I'm right and you're wrong and we call each other names. And I'm afraid that's happening in your family and I know you want to stop it. I want to stop it in the whole society. But once people are doing that, how do you get them to see that what they're doing is destructive, that what they're doing is unhealthy, that what they're doing does not involve any kind of intelligence? It's all emotions, and it's the kind of emotions that should really be saved for sporting events where we love our team. You know, I'm from New England, and we love the Red Sox, man, and we can love the Red Sox, and we can hate the Yankees, and we know that it's not that they're really better or the people are better or anyone's right or wrong. It's just fun to like something, right? And people are doing this with issues that involve people's lives. And it's really unfortunate. So I don't know, man. Get them interested in sports, maybe? I, I don't know what the answer is for your family or any family. If anything, maybe try to get them to talk with each other about other things, you know, about things that aren't any of this. And remember that they love each other. Maybe that's what you got to do. Just agree to disagree on all of these things, whatever these things are, and talk about music, talk about movies, talk about art, talk about things that we can all talk about without arguing. Ha <laughs> ha, dad is a Yankees person, right? But we can still love each other and it's not like egregious, right? We could just laugh at each other about it, right? Right? Okay. So there's my, my long-winded answer that probably wasn't very helpful at all, and I'm really sorry. Oh, gosh, there's another one. Excuse me. I have to block someone else. How terrible is this? These ridiculous people. Okay. And now I'm not, I'm not seeing it. Um... So if you see the troll, please, uh, please block them and I will try to get to them as well. Okay. So Joanne, is my granddaughter's depression related to anyone mistreating her? Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, let's see. I, uh, it's an interesting question. And I recognize that you have a, um, I recognize that, that you have a suspicion here, that you have a suspicion. And the question is, is your suspicion correct? And I can, we cannot bust anyone. Uh, you can, oh my gosh, Uma, you know this person? Oh my gosh. Oh, ooh, ooh, who would do that? Oh. Oh, seriously. Okay. Anyway, anyway, uh, what a horrible individual. Oh my gosh. That's terrible. Okay. I'm sorry, Joanne, this is a serious topic and I apologize. You can't bust a someone based on what a, uh, on, on what a tarot card reader might say. 
You can't, you can't buzz someone on that. And mistreating can mean a lot of different things, a lot of different things. But I think you need to look into this. It may not be as serious as you're imagining. You may be imagining a worst case scenario, and it may not be that. But I think you need to look at what's going on, and you need to be that person who maybe gets a little nosy. And if you know me, you know I never, ever, ever ask people to be nosy. But in this case, Joanne, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, now let me try once again to block this ridiculous troll. I cannot even believe it. Okay, let's see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Got it. Blocking Matthew McGuire? You suck. Okay, there. <laughs> right, it's shocking that a real person is doing this. We want to believe it's bots, right? Or people who are like starving in some third world country where you can kind of feel sorry for them, right? Unbelievable. Okay, back to work here. Jackie, Jackie Masters, how can I improve my finances? Jackie, you have so many skills. You have, um, you need to believe in your skills and market your skills. Seriously, seriously, do that and your finances will improve. Okay, hey, I blocked you, dude. What's, what's going on here? Block, okay, hopefully that took, okay. Okay, Missy, how will things go with the living situation I am in right now? You must be patient. You must rise above difficulty. It will not be easy, but it is necessary and will be fine. Be patient. Be good. Be the bigger person. There will be a star in your crown in heaven for doing this. Okay. Ah, I keep trying to block this person and he keeps coming back. Well, we keep trying. Okay. Steffi, what can I expect in the next two months regarding COVID in Germany? Honestly, my guess is they are probably going to lock down pretty tight. That's my guess. Uh, whatever the German version of that is, I would be expecting it. Okay. Ajasta, nice to see you. Uh, I would like to know what will go in 2021 to the company that we have with my husband. So in your business, how that will be. Oh, and here's a third one. Good Lord. Good Lord. These, these trolls are ridiculous. Okay, Ajasta. How your company will be in 2021. I think you have the opportunity for real growth. Real growth. And so look toward that. Whatever's happening in the world doesn't matter. This company could go very, very far and do very, very well. Okay. Hey, Claire Wetzler, please, can you find out what the delay is with moving court jurisdiction from our old state to the new one we, were in, we are in now? What is the difficulty? I think it's just the court moving slowly. Although, you know, someone is opposing this. Don't you think that someone is opposing this? I, I feel like there may be an opposition that is making it go slower, but it will happen. It will happen. And uh, so be patient, but recognize that there could be someone actively working against you here. Okay, Darlene, years ago you read for me at a home party. Very accurate. Oh, nice to see you again. Thank you. How do you see the children issues in our family now and in the future? It's going to take some work. I, I feel like, especially with one particular individual, it's going to take some work. But I feel like in the long run, things will be okay, but the journey there is going to be painful. Okay. Katie Lee, will I have new romance in my life and will I have more kids? Uh, be careful. Yes, you will have new romance, but make sure it's the right one. You have a history of choosing the wrong one. And yes, I think you will have more kids. 
Okay, Princess Samantha, thank you for your patience. How does Nicholas feel about me after he saw two of my text messages on how I feel about him? Does he love me? He saw my Snapchat twice yesterday and today. Okay. Well, Uma, it's true. I do have the best people here. You, you folks are fabulous. You really are, and that's why people want to steal you. Absolutely. Okay, so Princess Samantha, how does Nicholas feel? You know, I have a feeling that you could do better. I have a feeling that you could do better than Nicholas. I really do believe that. I I feel like I I feel like he's not going to be honest with you. He's not going to treat you right. How does he feel about you? Well, he finds you attractive, certainly, but I think you should leave him alone. I think you could find somebody better. I really, really, really do. I really, really do. Okay. Christina Petta. Uh, how will the end of the month be for you? Uh, good. Good creative, making some money, having some good conversations with people. Very good. Okay. Okay. So I'm only doing one question per person, by the way. Kim Morris, my guy has been distant. He lost his job, but is his distance more about him or is he just pulling back from me? Great question. I think he's freaked out about the job thing. I think you should hold space for him and be supportive. I think he's anxious and I think he loves you. I think you should be secure here. Okay, QG Green. Uh, when will me and my boyfriend be able to get a house soon? Uh, three to six months. Christina, will the spike in COVID cases create a problem with me getting my nursing license and getting into grad school? Not significantly, no. No, it will not. I mean, it's a problem for everyone, but not specifically for that. Okay. So, Princess Samantha, I'm sorry. That's probably not what you wanted to hear. I know that. Okay. Teresa Iannuzzi, what do I need to know in regard to what is the better choice for my eighth grade daughter's education at this time? What a great question. What you need to know is that A, your daughter is easily distracted. B, your daughter is very sensitive. C, your daughter needs to be opened up to new possibilities. And whatever takes those things into account is what will help her best. Okay. Kristen Barnes, is there a collaborative project I'm part of worth me continuing to put my energy into? It has so much potential, but I'm really losing steam after a lot invested. Honestly, it does have a lot of potential. I'm wondering about the collaborators, though. I feel like you're kind of in a mess here because it is a great idea. And whose idea is it? If you don't do it with these collaborators, how does it even get done? Does it get done without you? Does it get done at all? It's a great idea. It should get done. But what do you do? How do you do it? And so I think you need to have a real sit down moment with your collaborators and try to get this bad boy back on track. And if you can't, try to get the idea and take it for yourself away from the collaborators. Make some kind of deal with them so that this can see the light of day. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, I am just looking for extraneous questions, and uh, I want to thank you all so much. So at this point, I feel like I've answered one question for every person that I saw ask a question. If I did not answer a question for you, if I missed you, or if you have a question that you didn't 
Oh, good, Kristen, you're going to have a meeting. Yes, please do that. That's so important. So important. Okay. So, speak now or forever hold your peace. If I accidentally missed you, then by all means. I know, Donna, I keep trying to block them, and it just doesn't take. Ugh, so weird. Anyway, I'll come back and block them later so they can't come back anyway. All right. I want to thank you all so much for being here. Uh, Misty, I did not miss you. I, I got you way in the beginning. Uh, so go back and listen to the replay because I absolutely did get you. All right. Anyone else? Did you think I missed you? Um, or um, I did not miss Misty Foster's question. I got her in the beginning. Um, but I cannot even remember what it was. So if you want to ask it again while I say my goodbyes, I'll do it again if you want so you don't have to go back. Uh, so go ahead and ask it again if you want. Uh, so uh, while we see if Misty does that, I am available for readings, phone, Skype, FaceTime, Messenger. I am also ready, uh, ready to work with you if you like to take your tarot skills to the next level, to help you grow in the ways you want to grow as a reader or as a human being. Um, yes, I did get you, Missy. Absolutely. Absolutely. See, now I'm all worried that I didn't get Misty. Did I get Misty? I really thought I got her right at the beginning. I'm freaking out now because I don't remember, but I was so sure that I did. Anyway, so Misty, if it, oh yes, lending on the new house. Yes, I can even remember what I said, that you may have to mess with it a little bit. You may have to go through a different lender. You may have to clean up some stuff, but stick with it because you will get it. That's what I said. I remember. Wow, I have a good memory once in a while. Okay, so readings, mentorship, and free class tomorrow on my YouTube channel. If you don't subscribe to me, Please do, Christiana Gaudette on YouTube. And while you're there, subscribe to StarCast, S-T-A-A-R-C-A-S-T. -A -A -S that is our podcast all about StarCon, and that's coming up in January. I want to see all of you at StarCon, our online tarot conference. So reach out for reading, reach out for mentorship, and I will look forward to seeing you soon. I'll be back Monday with the three-card weekly reading. Thanks so much. Take good care.